Welcome back everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, here with another arena analysis video. Now, Main Bane has given me access to his account to take a look at his arena team, because he's been a little upset about not being in the top 20 anymore. So, I just logged into the account, here's your proof, because you don't get this video unless you've logged into arena for the first time. And let's take a look at what he's got. Now, I like to look at these arena reports because they give you a lot more information than any other report condensed into something that's easily readable. So, first things first, I like to look at troop type advantages. As I can see here, this is definitely a rider focused account. And that's definitely backed up by the fact that they have gold boots, purple pants, and a red backpack. So, they focused on all of your troop stats first and then went into rider focused and their parts also reflect this so let's see about making sure that this arena team stays mostly rider focused and already i can see a couple of issues with this there's only one rider team that could be made from this and it's not even using riders so already their defensive team is a little hodgepodge. So let's take a look at their defense. I'm going to completely start from scratch and see what I can build. You know you need at least one tank. And honestly, if you're going to go rider focused, you want to last as long as possible. So let's have a distraction team of infantry off to the side. I love that team. Now, as far as rider focused lead commanders, you've got Cynthia. Cynthia is pretty well built, but let's see if we can get a little bit more out of her. I see a fully awakened Freya that can run riders. Um, Park is also fully awakened. So we will probably try and use both of these. Is there any other options that we have for riders? We do also have Catherine. And I could definitely see Catherine... Ooh, Cynthia leading Catherine for now. Increasing rider squad attack by another 18%. is going to be nice here. And getting the most out of that skill damage will definitely help. I don't think anyone else's rider squad attack is buffed quite as much right now. Another 18%, also having the squad capacity, so we'll be able to make use of this. So I'm going to run Cynthia Catherine as my main damage dealer. Actually, let's run... Not click the right button. Let's try Cynthia Freya. Get the squad capacity. Have the increase to rider squad attack. Solid AOE damage. We, we can work with this. We can definitely work with this. Now as far as a secondary rider team, because we need at least one more, I will go ahead and run park Catherine because you do have solid rider attack stats and park can definitely make use of Catherine's single target damage by reducing the defense of the enemy so we will use that but cynthia is definitely going to be the ace here now we need something that can protect them oddly enough this is actually going to work just fine Liam Martin with infantry does allow for quite a bit of healing as an off tank. And we're also going to want something that can buff and debuff the enemy. So do we want... <coughs> we have another option. We also do have Lee. Which is something we could run as well. With Lee being a bit higher level too.
Let's see how this looks. Let's go with Lee Freya running. Okay, you do have the two or more troop types in here. I'll go ahead and complete this formation for now and make sure about your talents. You did pick these up, so I need at least three. So let's go 500, not 5,000, 500 in both of these. And we have 106,000 there. I think this will make this troop the ace. And then we're going to make use of Jaden's level and Alex's AoE buffs. Because it will raise your rider squad HP by 40% and your infantry squad defense by 40%. So it'll basically improve the survivability of all of your troops on the field by a significant amount. With that being said, I do believe running riders is the best choice here. Um... Knowing you, you probably went with the same talents on Jaden as you did with Lee. And we will verify that before we test anything out. So we have Jaden talents. No, you did not. So I don't need to run anything specific here. I could actually just run all riders with that team if you're not running those talents he can run all riders so we'll do that because yeah your your attack power is higher your defense is 12 percent higher while it shouldn't beat your infantry squad defense if you're buffing your own riders hp by 40 percent it definitely bridges that gap. So, I like this. Oh, make sure you put Catherine back on Cynthia. Don't make that mistake. And I think the distraction over here will work just fine. There's a couple other things I could test out, but I think this one will be just fine. With... And this is the person you keep losing to, but you don't have any other options. With that being said, me changing this out here will probably prevent the losses that you're experiencing now. You don't need to be running ranged. As much as people like to run their ranged against infantry, the stat buffs that you're getting on your rider squad attack alone more than makes up for the attack power of uh, ranged by itself. Because you had... I think there was at least a 20% gap, if I remember correctly. Yeah, almost 20% in uh, from rider to infantry and 15 from rider to ranged. And you're still running tier 4. There it is. No, you do have the tier 5. Rider stats. Attack is at 190. Ranged is at 220. You, you gain a lot more defense for a little bit of attack power. So honestly, I think this one will be just fine. Adjust Rigoro on this position regularly so as to manipulate how the enemy moves on their side. I have found that if you're trying to draw someone out from the back corner, pushing Rigoro up a little bit will force them over to this side more often than not, but it's not perfect. Jaden, Alex is going to be squishy. So if anyone stacks up on it, you might have some issues there. And you're also going to be lacking in levels for Liam and Lee for a little while. Um, but you also said you don't have Tom. 
Yeah, you don't have Tom. If you do spend a little bit, picking up Tom will make your arena team a little bit better. But considering your rider focus, I would avoid that, honestly. With arena, you only need to be top 20 in order to get the carbon fiber that you need. Or the carbon steel that you need. So, if you can get in the top 20 with this, you'll be just fine. But well, with that being said, I don't think there's anything more that I'm going to look at here. You've got solid equipment buffs. Um, getting this up to gold or even red is not only going to help your rider team, but it will also affect your research speed by a significant amount. You're currently at uh, purple one star, which is a 12%, getting it all the way up to red get you another 8% research speed, which is going to help you out a lot down the line. So, I think we're good here. Um, let me know, and since I don't have any Arena of Doom attempts to test out, let me know after reset how well this works for you. I do definitely believe that this is going to keep your defense from losing, but you'll need to make sure you set up your offense to match this, because I can't change it without spending gems and I don't do that on other people's accounts and you don't have enough gems for me to do that so with that being said I think this is all I can do here let me know what you think and if anyone else has any questions feel free to ask in the comments or on my discord discord if you would like me to do this with your account as well reach out to me I'm happy to do this this is Mr. Brain your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.